Nestled high in the Andes, a revolutionary ancient farming technique remains etched into the landscape, its wisdom resonating through centuries. Welcome to the world of the Waru Waru terraces, also known as raised fields. These ingenious creations, steeped in the rich history of the Andean people, punctuate the rugged landscape. Developed by the pre-Inca civilizations over a thousand years ago, these agricultural marvels are not only a testament to human ingenuity, but also a precursor to modern sustainable practices. Let's break down the science behind these terraces. Each waru waru is a raised planting bed surrounded by water channels. This design is crucial for two reasons, temperature regulation and irrigation. Now you might be thinking, how does this work exactly? Well, let's dive in. During the day, the sun's rays beat down on the Andean highlands, heating the water in these channels. As night falls and temperatures plummet, this water acts like a thermal blanket, releasing the stored heat and creating a warmer microclimate for the crops. This innovative system protects the crops from devastating frost, a common occurrence at such high altitudes. But the benefits don't stop there. The water channels also play a pivotal role in irrigation. The Andes are a harsh environment with periods of intense rain followed by long stretches of drought. But the Waru Waru, they're always ready. The channels trap rainwater, ensuring a steady supply of hydration, even in the driest times. This ingenious system allows crops like quinoa, potatoes and maize to thrive in conditions that would otherwise be challenging, if not impossible. And the best part? It's all done without artificial irrigation systems or modern technology. The surrounding water also provides another significant advantage, irrigation. This ensures that even in times of drought, the crops, typically quinoa, potatoes and maize, remain watered and nourished. The Waru Waru terraces also helped improve soil fertility. Organic materials settled in the water channels, decomposing and eventually being used as nutrient-rich compost, enhancing the soil's productivity without artificial fertilizers. Let's delve a bit deeper into this natural composting process. As the farmers worked the land, they would toss weeds, crop residues and other organic waste into the water channels. Over time, these materials would break down, creating a rich compost that was then spread onto the fields. This compost added vital nutrients back into the soil, promoting the growth of healthy, robust crops. This natural recycling of organic matter is a perfect example of sustainability in action. It allowed the ancient Peruvians to continually cultivate the same plots of land without depleting the soil of its fertility. Today, as we face global challenges like climate change and food security, the principles of Waru Waru offer valuable lessons in ecological balance and resource management. Remarkably, some of these ancient terraces are still in use today, continuously feeding communities just as they did centuries ago. This living testament to the past holds profound implications for our present. In a world grappling with climate change, resource scarcity and a burgeoning global population, the Waru Waru system presents a beacon of sustainable agriculture. Its ingenious design, honed over centuries, offers a blueprint for modern farming practices. The terrace's ability to regulate temperature, conserve water and improve soil fertility without artificial inputs showcases a model of agriculture that is not just productive, but resilient and sustainable. In our quest for solutions to today's challenges, we find ourselves looking back, recognizing the wisdom of our ancestors. Could ancient practices like the Waru Waru be the key to future agricultural sustainability? What other ancient technologies should we revisit? Share your thoughts in the comments below.